Should England have its own parliament? One political party thinks so, and they're holding their annual conference in St Albans this week. They're the English Democrats, and I'm joined from College Green by their leader, Robin Tilbrook. Robin, welcome to the programme. Hello, Joe. Thank you very much. What do you hope to achieve with your conference this time in St Albans? Well, obviously, we're launching our uh, mayoral, uh, our candidates for the police commissioners. Um, we're also um, starting to prepare for the next county council elections, uh, and we're, we're, we're launching an initiative uh, to start uh, progress towards having a great charter for England um, in readiness for um, the 800th anniversary of Magna Carta. But what do you think, how successful do you really think you're going to be? Um, well, I, I think um, I, I think we are, make, we are making some progress um, as a party. We're, we're building up in terms of numbers, in terms of organisation, in terms of where we're standing, uh, in terms of the, one of the all-important things about uh, politics in this country, which is money. Um, so um, we are making some progress. I mean, you uh, say I, I'm quite upbeat about it. You're upbeat. OK, well, I mean, you say on your website, for too long England has been shamelessly abused, compromised and pillaged by successive Westminster administrations. Quite forceful language. I mean, given that England is, you know, a pretty prosperous part of the union, what, what do you mean by that? Well, if you think about it, um, there are parts of England that are prosperous. Um, there are plenty of parts of England that are not at all prosperous. Um, and yet we have a system where... Uh, the um, British political establishment, through the Barnet formula, um, give more money in subsidies to uh, rich parts of Scotland than poor parts of England. Um, and the same would be true of uh, other parts of the United Kingdom. Uh, England isn't currently represented at all in the uh, political process. And so we often get the raw end of the deal. I mean, well, you're, you're seeing that with um, NHS cuts, for example. But you have to admit that that characterisation, even if some people are sympathetic to it, given that of the 101 candidates you put up for election in the May local elections, not a single one was elected. So they just don't see it the way you do. Well, I think, uh, to, be, to be fair, Joe, it's, it's, it's early days for our party. Um, we have only been going since 2002. Um, we're... Um, the fact that we were able to put up so many candidates is quite an achievement for a party of our age. Uh, and, uh, of course, you, you've got to bear in mind that uh, the establishment parties spent literally tens of millions on that election, um, whereas uh, our budget was tiny. Well, I mean, you know, outline how you would see an English parliament working in practice. Well, I, I think the, the issue is that we need not only an English parliament uh, in terms of the sort of representation function, um, but we also need an English first minister and government uh, in order to put us on a, on a footing of, of any sort of parity with Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Um, and um, we, we would also need an English Secretary of State um, within the Whitehall system. Um, otherwise, we're, England is simply not going to be properly represented in the, the whole process of government. And, I mean, and, and that means that we're simply not going to get the kind of resources spent on our interests that, that um, are spent on... Uh, the other nations of the United Kingdom. Yes, and a lot of people will agree with you on that and they, and they will sympathise. So is it that your message isn't getting across? Why isn't it getting across? Is it because it's obscured by some of the more extreme rhetoric um, that surrounds the party? No, I don't, I, I don't think so. Um, I, and I don't think we, we are particularly extreme about what we say. But the, the fact of the matter is uh, opinion polls are showing that people are getting our message um, what we haven't yet achieved um, is that the um, brand awareness of our party is, uh, is, not, is not at the, the, the level that we need it to be in order to start winning uh, major elections. All right, Robin Tilbrook on College Green, thank you very much. Thank you very much.